What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets Radio. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us on the live stream today. We definitely appreciate it. Um, I truly, genuinely feel bad for all of us that had to sit through that slop and feel even worse for all the fans that flew overseas to go watch this game and all the fans that spent their hard earned money to go watch their favorite team play on a national showcase, a worldwide showcase. This was the only game on TV. You had everybody in the world watching you, and the Jets came out flat as a pancake, unprepared, outcoached, overwhelmed. And it's completely inexcusable. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, you wonder how a young team handles some kind of success. Zach Wilson, Rookie of the Year, or Rookie of the Week. You had John Franklin Myers getting his contract. Seven sacks. Big win over the Titans at home. Everybody's feeling good about you. A lot of saying, you know what? You win this game. You go into the bye. Then after the bye, maybe you get yourself to three and three. And the Jets laid an absolute egg from top to bottom. Coach, head coach, both coordinators, offense, defense, Everybody, complete disaster. And what's, what's unfortunate is that the score does not is not indicative of the performance of the team because the Falcons, who aren't a good team, made several mistakes to keep the Jets in the game. So where do you want to start? Zach Wilson did not play well whatsoever. You know, I, a part of it is him. A part of it is drop passes. Crowder, Davis again. Offensive line at times fails. The play calling, I genuinely don't understand the rhyme or reason of play call. The Jets have scored, what is it, 13 points in five first halves of football? 13 points. Like, I'll keep saying this. Adam Gase, as terrible as he was, his scripted plays actually worked. The Jets' offense in the first half of games is abysmal. I don't know if it's script, game plan, approach. And I don't understand how Coach Sala could tell us how he liked the game plan. He think everything was going well. You were losing 20-3 to at halftime. What's good about that? Like, what are we talking about here? What happened to, like, the crossing routes? You watch the Falcons' offense, who was minus two receivers. You knew, dude, watch out for Patterson, watch out for Pitts. They had all of Matt Ryan's throws seem easy. With Zach Wilson, everything seems to be a challenge. Nobody is getting schemed open like everybody said. It's all, like, Mims, they, they, like, you get the garbage yards at the end. Mims, you know, had the big catch. Moore had the big play deep. They were nowhere to be found in the first half. I don't understand what in the fuck goes on in the first half of football of the Jets. I have, honestly have no idea. None. The offense is abysmal. Like, th this whole self-scouting thing, like, every positive feeling you had about this team coming off of last week is completely lost this week. They didn't come off the plane in the first half. Offense or defense. Now, the defense, they had the terrible uh, roughing the passer call. I think it was on Quincy Williams or Nathan Shepard had one. They had, like, three bad penalties. The roughing the passer call I thought was bad. But that doesn't excuse you from giving up the rest of their drive. They were playing soft zone, getting torched all over the place. The defensive line couldn't stop the run. It was it was abysmal. Terrible. So then you're like, all right, let's try to figure out. So you have you know special teams. They miss a point after, whatever. So they get back in the game. So you had a couple plays that the defense, like Tyrone likes to say, the bend but don't break. C.J. Mosley forces a fumble. Quincy, Mosley forces, uh, Quincy Williams forces, uh, forces a fumble. I'm so pissed right now. They give you a chance to get back in the game. The offense does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was like at the end of the third quarter, Zach Wilson had 65 passing yards. How many times have we seen that this year? He missed a, a very easy screen pass. Then he hit the one. He hit Morgan Moses in the back of the head with a pass to one drive. So now he's leading plays on the field. The play calling has no rhyme or reason to it whatsoever. So, in the, you know, the, they have Tevin Coleman's big return. So they get the touchdown here, and they, they ran the ball, I think it was three or four times in a row, took the ball completely out of Zach Wilson's hands because they're probably scared what he's going to do with it. So you get your touchdown. Then you, you're, they're, they're somehow still in the game with the defense. But then a big spot, the Jets score a touchdown and get back in the game. The Falcons march right back down the field, score a touchdown. It's like, so then Salah talks about, you know, players got to close out the game. First of all, you close out games when you're actually winning the game. Genius. You weren't winning. You were losing. You're trying to find ways to get back in the game. What you're trying to do is give your, yourself a chance to get the football back, which you didn't do either. Then you get the football back. You get Denzel Mims involved. Finally, he makes a big play. You hit Elijah Moore deep, get the pass interference. Zach Wilson missed two plays downfield that could have been huge. He missed Corey Davis deep, who was wide open. And Elijah Moore, if he threw it better, would have been a touchdown as well. Two long plays, he didn't hit those. Wilson didn't play well at all. But there, there was just nothing here. Like, at, from top to bottom, it was just a bad performance. They were flat. They were outcoached. I can make an argument they were unprepared. And I don't know, like, I can't buy all the smoke and bullshit that, that Salah's trying to sell us. The, your eyes don't lie. Like, the, the results don't lie. Like, this is what we know what we saw. 
Like, don't give me, like, it's just a matter of execution, a couple things here and there. No! Like, your game is on the line. You count on a four-man rush that hadn't got pressure all fucking day to get a sack and rattle Matt Ryan, who's been torching you for 340 yards or 50 yards. That's what you're counting on? Your, your coaching staff didn't close it out either. Terrible. This is terrible. Like, you're going into the bye week off a complete clunker. This was, there is not one facet of this game you could say, you know what, this is something we could build off of. Nothing. You went off your, your, you know, your exciting performance last week to a complete dud. Absolute dud. Nothing to build off with this. It makes you angry. It makes you frustrated because it wasn't good football. You feel like you wasted three hours of your time watching football. There's nothing exciting about that. You, you buy in as fans, and Primetime said it right. You buy in as fans saying, you know what, we don't belong, we don't, belong, we don't deserve to be in this game. They didn't deserve to be in the game in the end. They absolutely shouldn't have blown out. Absolutely shouldn't have been getting blown out. So the, as a fan, your, your fan side kicks in. Like, imagine we steal this win. Imagine. And then when you have that little glimmer of maybe we can find a way to steal this or tie the game, whatever else, they just, boom, right back to jet mode where they just complete fall apart again. I don't know, man. Call me too negative. Call me whatever. I genuinely don't care. This was a terrible performance. They did not get off the plane today. Terrible.